crazy guy. If you want to see some serious damage that this typhoon did, this used to have a roof. But, you know, I mentioned this before in my previous video blogs. There is a tremendous effort and spirit on the island by the locals and also the people that call this place their home to rebuild and to, to stay positive and get through this together. Yeah, there's so many kids here you guys can see. And this is where we're going to do the foodie feeding program. You know, it feels so good to be able to give back. The guys here have been fueling up, so even though it's been like 100 people here, we might have already fueled 500 mouths. That just went into my mind. <laughs> yeah, let's see if it will fit. I think it will. Yeah. Whee! Yeah. Good job, team. Yeah. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to a new travel vlog, this time from Shargao Island in the Philippines. We're back in Shargao. We've been kind of traveling for a little bit. We had to visit my fiance's grandmother's birthday. You know what it's like to meet all the Filipinos. There was a lot of food, but I'm back here on the island now and we are resuming our feeding program, helping out the local barangays here in the northern parts of Shargao. If you're unfamiliar to the first episode I did, Shargao was hit by a super typhoon category five in December, 2021, only about four months ago, but the, the island is recovering, but we're here to kind of show our support to the local communities that welcomed us when we were stranded here during the pandemic of 2020. So it's nice. We've been receiving a lot of donations from the first YouTube video I did. We've been able to raise about 1,000 US dollars, which is gonna go to helping the local community here up in Tangbo in the northern part of Shargao. So we're very excited for that. So in this video blog, I'll be taking you guys along for the journey. We're gonna go into uh, Dapa, which is the main capital here in Shargao. We're gonna be shopping some local fruits, vegetables, and start preparing our food program. So it's quite normal to do that here in the Philippines. There's already been a ton of people that have done it. And for us to be able to do it as well, kind of resonated with what we wanted to do and how we wanted to give back. So I think it's good, you know, people have already done a lot. Now it's our turn. So as long as we're able to, to provide these families with some comfort, I think, the least thing we can do after all the welcomeness we've had here in the Philippines. Alright guys, first guy on the team, Kim, my uh, best friend from Norway here in the Philippines, first time in the Philippines. What's up guys? Mm -hmm. Photographer. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How's life? Yeah, life is good. It's good to have you back. Yeah. Yeah. It's been uh, four or five been lonely days, you know? Yeah. But now you guys are back and we're uh, about to go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> This is the beautiful house we're staying here in Denneville Resort all the way up north. Due to the super typhoon, he got his beach pushed all the way up to his house. So you know, at least you can look at something that was good in all that happened. And over here we have Jay. Jay, say hi to the vlog. Hey guys, what's up? Who is Jay? What do you do? I'm the TikTok guru. Yes, <laughs> you are. <laughs> I've actually gave him that name, the TikTok guru. Yeah. So Jay is helping out with everything related to TikTok, you know. He's a bit smarter than me on that point. I really believe in investing in human resources and Jay was so good. We kind of gave out an application on Instagram asking for someone that knew TikTok that could help out. So after Jay got on the team, we've been growing the TikTok, I think 35,000 followers at this point. Yeah. Pretty yeah, good. Follow. Follow Martin, Follow Martin Zolai on TikTok. <laughs> but it's cool, we're doing different stuff over there, you know? You have to realize that all these platforms have a different audience and a different way to create content on them. And I, I after Jay got on the team, I've been loving it. TikTok's been fun to me. So if you guys are on there, hit me up. I'm doing some, I don't know, something that's not me. Some, I mean, I guess I'm discovering a new side to me over there. Good morning, Ava. Morning. How are you? Excited! Yeah. Okay guys, so we are now in the car and we have about one hour drive to Dapa from Northern Shargao. It's the four of us today, the rest of the team is staying back to work on other things. But yeah, it's a long drive. I'll update you along the way.
Good rice. Wait. This is the best rice in the past. Oh, oh, apat na ganito. Wow! How many rice did we get? Uh, four, four half sacks. Four half sacks. The first step to the whole feeding program is getting the rice. I'll let Papa do the negotiations. 4,060. <laughs> She's really good at the negotiation. She's way better than me. It's a cultural thing. The price that's on there is not necessarily what it costs. You know, it's like... Yeah, you know, she got like 10 pesos off, whatever, she's happy. Thank you, Thank you Pop. Okay guys, so we now have the rice. Now it's time to move over to the vegetables. Hey guys, it's raining on us, but we're getting the vegetables done. Ava and Jay are doing the negotiations again. We found this really nice market in the middle of Dapa that tends to have a lot more cheaper produce than the other places. I think this is kind of where all the Kuyas and Atis go to buy the vegetables that they sell at their Sari Sari stores. This seems to be like ground zero for vegetables, okay? Wow, Jay, do you need any help? Yeah. Carrying? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right guys, we just finished about one hour of shopping at Pure Gold, the new big supermarket here in Shargao, which is really convenient. They have kind of like everything at one place. It's not always the cheapest, but it's very convenient. And obviously it's, you can find a lot of good products there. So we were able to finish off the shopping today. Everything you see here is close to six, seven, six hundred dollars, I think, at this point. We haven't final done the final computation, but it's, that's kind of, what well, I yeah, think in my head. Let's yeah, let's see if it will fit. I think it will. Yeah. Whee! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Good job, team. All the way back from Dapa to the north of Sharga, almost as north as you can come, there's a barangay called Barangay Tangbo, and this is where we stayed. Right here in this house during the lockdown of the world, we were here for like seven, I think six, five months at least. But you know, they're still kind of recovering it, but it's kind of like a very nice concrete house centered in this very beautiful barangay with a lot of wonderful people and kids. Hi! 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 I saw you! <laughs> yeah, there's so many kids here, you guys can see. And this is where we're going to do the foodie feeding program. You know, it feels so good to be able to give back. This is our first time ever doing this. We're not professional at it. But we still feel like we wanted to give back. Hi, guys! Oh, hi! Hello! <laughs> now we're going to carry all the stuff into the house. Let's go! Go with it! Hello guys! Yeah. Hey guys, the entire team is here now helping out. Ava is kind of the boss of what's going on in terms of the cooking operation because she used to be a chef. So we're just here to take orders, help out as much as we can, to make sure this is successful. Doing some of the chickens. We bought 30 chickens and she's boiling them up. Because according to her, that's the hardest part. And that's what takes the most time. And then we'll do some other things tomorrow too. So I think that's it for today. Uh, keep watching though, because this vlog is not done. Tomorrow is the whole feeding process, meeting all the people. I think that's gonna be fun. Yeah! Choo! Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, yeah. Yesterday we worked here till around 10 p.m. I think? 10 p.m., yeah. Cooking as much chicken as we could, peeling garlic. My fingers are like hurting, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. And now we're back, it's now 9 a.m. in the morning. Kim is shopping, um, Kim, you're doing really great, by the way. Yeah, I know my garlic. You know? Yeah, you know your garlic. <laughs> Kim is the garlic chopper. 
Rain is the onion chopper. What are you guys up to? Amazing. We're waiting for the water to boil. Okay. For the you guys are amazing. I'm proud of this team. Proud of this team. Ave! Hello! Hi! Good morning! Good morning! We just arrived. Mm -hmm. Happy ka? Yes, happy. Very happy. Amazing. Well, we just don't do vlogging, but we're also happy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I just need to document a little bit. So we're gonna cook up the meals now. I'll probably vlog a little bit. Let's see. This is Kim's first meeting with a fiesta, you know, like of this size. He's gonna have a good time. Okay, Kim, ready for some coffee? Yes. Wow, guys, we're battling this uh, this weather that's happening in Shargam now. You know, ever since the mega typhoon hit three months ago, people have been telling me that the weather hasn't really been like normal. It's still kind of a lot of stuff happening in the Pacific Ocean out there. So that's why it's like, the fire that we're cooking on is just blowing all the smoke into the, the kitchen here because it's an open kitchen solution and we're all like crying and, but you know the kuyas and the aftas working in the village here are so helpful like they they know how this is they grew up here so they're like installing a tarp and plywood and really trying to take care of us yeah it started rain right now but now it's coffee time huh? coffee time for the boys the norwegians can't go more than two hours without coffee, we start getting grumpy. Yeah. This is called a French press. It's, uh, I ex expect it's an invention from France, but you never know, right? Okay, update. Food is almost done, thanks to the guys. And while they've been working really hard, me and Kim, we've been gathering now the final list of all the donations. 16 people came together and donated for the cost of what we're doing here today. We're really, really thankful to everybody that did that. You know, just by also watching the video, you are making it possible for us to do this. So, you know, thank you so much to you as a viewer too. And a special thank you to those who went even further and donated. So right now, Ava's sister, Rain, she is gonna write up all the names that donated. And as a Marvel watcher, you're automatically there because you're part of Team Marvel. Mm. Well done! Hey! Good well work. done! So guys, these are all the donators for this feeding program here in Tangbo. We have Bernadetta, Ursula, Eleanor, Jonathan, Manolin, Iwan, Brigitte, Emma, Remy, Priscilla, Anna, Ophelia, T. Marve, Bjorg, Leaf, and Kaha for providing the place and the kitchen to even do this. Very cool, very nice. The hidden heroes of Kaha hasn't really been shared yet. What are their names of it? Kuya Jeremy and Kuya Sisoy. Yes. Locals. Okay, giveaway. They're the hidden heroes. Uh oh. Giveaway. And then we have Ate. What's Roxanne. your name? Roxanne? Yeah, Ate Roxanne. Hi, oh, They're used to this. Yeah. They don't do go to the gym. <laughs> so we're preparing like a station uh -oh. over here Ayan. where everybody can come. Thank you. Thank you guys. Okay. Amazing. All right, guys, all the food is finally done. Amazing achievement of the team. I'm very proud of them. So one of the guys that live in the village now is going around with a megaphone, announcing that, hey, there's soup. Someone's giving away soup for you guys. So if you haven't yet got your meal, head over to Kaha. How many? How many? How many? Uh, I have a family of, uh, you know, six, so. <laughs> Where's your, where's your container? Oh, can I do like, no. Oh. Sorry, sorry, we can't, we can't serve you. Oh, you guys are doing great. Are you from Tangbo? Um, I wish. <laughs> you're, Only you're from Tangbo or Alegria. You're uh, disqualified oh, from Oh, okay. Mainit. <laughs> hey guys, we have announced that we're open the feeding at 12. It's now 
12.10, we just finished a little bit later. And we're excited to see if people are coming or not. We obviously hope so. Hello! We come to Oya, first customer! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the feeding program has started. It's really cool. First people are coming over. We had served our first meal. I think so far we've served about 20 people. Even the dogs are coming out now, like the whole, the whole family. Yeah, nutritious stuff, you know, this is gonna keep them going. I love it. And this community right here in this village was so welcoming to us, you know, when we lived here. And that's why this feels so good to be able to give a little bit back. They definitely deserve it. I know there's other communities on the island too. You know, the reason we chose this one is just because this is where we knew people, how, how we could help, so. Wow, even has the Marvicada shirt. See that guy? Full t-shirt. <laughs> Hello, I think we've served close to a hundred people now. Hundred, don't you think? Something like that, maybe. It's been a lot. A lot, and I think the message is spreading obviously in the village now. So, some of them are coming back with food, you know, others are gonna be like, oh, what's happening? But it's so, so nice to see. Yeah, this is, this is my first ever like this. Like, um, I see, I see why people do it. It, 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 it brings meaning to everything you do. Definitely, it's the goal of mine to do once we start doing well, you know, we obviously have to return it a little bit. And I think that's what this is about. Me on that journey, trying to give a little bit back. Whoa, how's it going, Rain? You know, I'm getting pasta yeah. at giving pasta. You're the pasta queen. <laughs> yeah. I just realized something that I didn't realize until now. Because they're speaking in Tagalog and I don't know numbers yet. But when people come over, they tell, yeah, they tell them how many people they have in their family and then the guys here have been fueling up, so even though it's been like a hundred people here, we might have already fueled 500 mouths. That just went into my mind. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense now. This makes it a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay guys, we managed to feed almost all of Tangbu, at least everybody that came out. So what we did now is that we brought what we have left, which is still a lot, and we brought it to the next barangay called Allegria. So we're gonna do a little feeding program here too. It's crazy guy, if you want to see some serious damage that this typhoon did, this used to have a roof. And I've seen some really crazy videos where the whole roof just got blown off during the height of the typhoon. But, you know, I mentioned this before in my previous video blogs, there is a tremendous effort and spirit on the island by the locals and also the people that call this place their home to rebuild and to, to stay positive and get through this together. Okay. We're doing a little bit. If everybody does a little bit, we're gonna get a long way. Yeah. Guys, third location. Very nice. So many people are coming out. Hi, doggies. Even the dogs are coming out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay! Hello. Alright guys, that's it. We finally managed to give out all the food. Surprisingly, it was a lot more food than what we thought. Yeah, it was surprisingly a lot more food than what we thought and it was really cool to see how many people it could feed. So now we're just bringing the pots back and calling it a day. We have enough budget for the donations to do this one more time, which I think we're gonna do maybe two days from now.